morning everyone. So it is the 11th of April 2013. The time is 7.55am and I am 14 hours, 13 minutes and 18 seconds on testosterone. <gasps> How amazing is that? I just never thought the day would come when I'd actually be saying that. I'm on testosterone. I am on tea. I have tea coursing through my body. Epic. I just really can't believe it still. I don't think Nat can either. But yeah. So 5.40 last night. I was bricking it all day yesterday, right? I had this real thought that I was going to get to the nurse and she'd be like, oh, I can't do this injection. Or someone's rung up and said, you can't have this done. All that silly, bizarre stuff. But of course that didn't happen. So me and Nat were really nervous. Nat kind of feeds off me when I'm nervous. So we're both kind of like doing all this business. Um, I was worried the nurse wouldn't know what she was doing and she didn't but she was alright so she kind of read the instructions properly and really took her time. And I was watching her taking the top off the minibido and the freaking great needle they use and getting in the, the, the um, ampule to get it all out and I was in my head going get every last drag you know but she did get every last drag. Um, so yeah it was very dignified. I had to like stand holding onto the, the table with me trousers undone and my arse out <laughs> and that just sort of looking um, and she did the jab right and I would kind of expected this to, to really hurt I've heard things about Nibido that it can be quite painful so I was kind of expecting quite a bit of pain <clears throat> and um, obviously you get like the prick when the needle goes in um, but apart from that it was fine and she did it really slowly so it, it took ages I had to stand there for quite a while and I was, I was quite shaky but it didn't hurt at all and I was like oh this is alright so um, I sat down and the nurse was talking to me and as I was sat there I was like my knee feels weird just like in my head didn't say it out loud it's like this odd like tight sensation around my knee and going down my lower leg and I was like sat there thinking what's this all about and the nurse said um, you know you don't be surprised if you feel quite sore and you start to feel like pains down your leg I was like oh that's what that is and she said just apply some heat to it you know rest when you get home um, but expect it to be sore for a couple of days so I was like, cool, cool, no worries. <laughs> Got outside into the waiting room and my whole leg just started going into almost cramp, not like complete cramp, but you know how it starts when it just starts to cramp up. I was like, oh my God, in the waiting room. Um, so we had a little walk because we were booked into a restaurant and the walk helped. But then all night, just like pain, just like going down my leg, not excruciating pain, but just like you got a bit of a dead leg, a bit of a dead weak leg and that feeling when you know it starts to go into cramp that doesn't quite go into cramp but I came home and put a hot water bottle on it and it was alright and who cares anyway it's worthwhile pain and this morning it's pretty much gone so but I just feel a bit weak today it's really quite bizarre so yeah Nat and I went for a really lovely meal afterwards at um, a really nice fish restaurant by us because I thought the protein would do me good and it was just really nice we just sat there together going oh my god you're really on tea and we're sat there thinking you know, this stuff's working its way around my body. It's already doing like little changes to like the muscles and the tissues and all the blood and stuff in my body. It's just making little changes and kind of radiating down the leg that it was put into because it goes into your butt cheek and going radiating up and going through my body. And it's like, oh my God. And it's this feeling of just like, I don't know, you just can't really describe it. Um, and there was one point where I said to that, oh my God, it's going through my body and it feels a bit panicky. And she said something that I actually completely kind of related to in that um, it's like when you go on a roller coaster ride and you've been in the queue for ages because you really want to go on this ride and finally you're in the seat and you're on the way on this roller coaster and then all of a sudden you think, oh shit, I don't know what this is going to be like. It might be really scary. Oh my God, oh my God, but it's too late to get off. And that's kind of like how it felt. I mean, you know, of course this is what I want, but at the same time, no matter how much I've seen videos of physical changes and heard people talk about the emotional changes, I have no idea how that's actually going to feel to experience myself. And it's exciting and scary all at once. And mad. And just mad to think that, like, now it's just going on inside my body. And, wow. I was absolutely worn out last night. By the time we'd eaten our meal, my eyes could have just shut and I could have gone to sleep on the table, to be honest. I don't know if that's just because I've been so hyper or, as Nat said, you know, it's been such a build-up and now it's here that my body's kind of gone, whoa, or whether it's the tea. I don't know, because, like, you think there must be some kind of, like, 
mad fight going on in there going what's going on all these little testosterone men going around inside me kind of making stuff new um so yeah oh my god i'm on tea no more pre tea videos i am on testosterone this is my first day on tea this isn't a live counter but roughly 14 hours ish on tea oh my god my voice that it, my voice is deep and i've got a beard <laughs> no um I feel like really scratchy throat today, but that could be nothing to do with it. I'm going to notice every little thing now and think it's something, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm rambling on, which is just at me as normal, because I'm just so excited. But, um, yeah, so, okay, I'm going to update on a monthly basis. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, my God, I can't believe I'm actually doing my updates. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I've got to say, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, for, for, the, for marking the first day on tea... This is me. This is my face. This is my face. Um, right. Uh, oh, Finn, breathe. Right. So, okay. This is my face. This is how I look. And I do have some hairs on my chin. Well, I shaved it. I shaved it on Monday, so I don't think you can really see. But I do get this, like, fryer tuck beard. It's just, like, tufts either side, but nothing in the middle, so it's a fryer tuck beard. And if I let it go, after, like, three odd days it's quite like significant on my chin so it'd be quite interesting to see what happens to that whether it meets in the middle and stuff and whatever um my arms i've not picked a really good light for this have i my arms used to be much hairier they've got less hairy as i've got older what's that all about what's up with that um okay so leg hair <laughs> my neighbors look at me again i had this leg warmer ha leg hair that just sort of stops at the knee <laughs> Sorry, neighbours, I know I'm not the case. Um, so it'd be good to see the rest of that, go the rest of my leg. Um, what else, what else, what else? Happy trail. Don't we have a happy trail? Just yet. I've got, like, a slightly joyful trail, but it's not quite happy. I've still got my, my boxer shorts on from this day. Look, I went with Popeye. I went with Popeye, muscle man. I know I'm a mingo, but I only had him on for, like, a couple of hours. So I put him on again this morning just to make the video. Because even though you can't see, well, you can because I've just shown you, I don't do my YouTube videos without my pants on, because you never know. Um, obviously, I went in this T-shirt, which is from my wonderful mate Spencer, over in Canada, Bazinga. Absolutely perfect. Um, so, yeah, that's me in terms of current hair, current way I look, and stuff. So, we'll see. I'll update you in a month. But you'll see me in between anyway, because I've always got lots to say in those videos. Which reminds me, Nat is going to do a video with me on Monday. Um, ooh, we've got a lovely weekend planned going to the Thought Park and she's got to have a couple of days off which is amazing so it's a whole week of celebration we've got King Charles on Friday which is awesome he's a music artist not like one of the monarchy um, but yeah we've got four days off so Nat is going to do a video with me on Monday and any questions anybody wants to ask her please do go ahead and drop a message in the thingy down below or private message me she's going to talk about how it feels for her now i've started testosterone um so yeah anything you want to ask her let me know and she's happy to answer anything so so please do yes okay that was a really rambly kind of like all over the place catch up wasn't it? I, I just really can't believe this is happening right now i can't believe i'm on testosterone and i'm just gonna have to keep checking the mirror every five minutes see if i've got like a zz top style beard it's nuts it's nuts it's nuts i think that's still a bit is this real as well? So, <gasps> thought part's going to be interesting, isn't it? Being chucked around on all those rides. Testosterone's going to get nicely mixed in, which will be cool. Right, okay. If you want to say anything to Nat, drop me a message. Thank you, everyone, for your amazing comments and encouragement and thinking of me. And God, it's so lovely to be um, thought of so much by everyone. Thank you. Right. Chat to you soon, everybody. I want tea! <laughs> See you soon.